I had a video request on how I load and strap down my kayak on my Chevy shore bed pickup truck. Let's go. What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to do a quick video on how I load, strap down, and unload my Old Town Sportsman PDL kayak, but this pretty much can apply to any kayak. So let's get started. Now you can either wheel or drag or back your truck up to where your kayak is and lift the, the nose up onto the front end and then slide it right in. Now yeah, I'm in my 50s, I'm out of shape, but these kayaks are still light enough that I can handle it without a problem. When I get to the point where that gets to be a little too much, then maybe I'll look into getting a trailer. But for now, I can still lift it and go. Now I do have a kayak cart and that comes in handy in case I go someplace where I have to park up and wheel the kayak in and out. But for now I mostly use it just to wheel back and forth to the garage. But there are some ramps that I've been to and if that's the case then I'll just take that and throw that in the truck after I get the kayak loaded. Now depending on your truck bed length and how long your kayak is, if the handles of your kayak come back out to your tailgate, then you can take your tie down straps and run them to your tie down points on either side using the handles to secure both the sides both sides against the front of the truck you can load it in center it up then get your tie down straps and just use the handles to the rear tie down points in most modern pickup trucks but i not only have a short kayak it's a 10 foot six I have a short bed truck. It's like 55, seven, something like that. But my handles are ahead of these tie down points. So what I end up doing, instead of going from handle to the back and handle to the back on the other side, I take and turn my kayak. At an angle like this, and push it up into the front of the truck. So now you can see it's angled into my truck. So I can take the front angle and hit that front tie down point and then I'll take another tie down strap on the other side from the handle up to the other front tie down strap. But again if you have a longer kayak with a longer truck bed and the handles are back as far as the tailgate goes then you can just take your tie down straps and tie it on either side here at the back and it'll hold it plenty well. So I have a longer one for the other side and a short one for this side. Draw that one tight, come around to the other side. I'll run that down through the handle. I'll run that through the handle then through the tie down mount and pull it up here and cinch it tight. And just those two, it's plenty tight. I'm moving the truck. This thing's not going anywhere. All right, so I'm gonna pop back in here because I wanna add something. You saw me just strap the kayak down and shake it enough where you can see it's not gonna go anywhere. It actually shook the whole truck. But I wanna talk about the actual straps. Don't use ratchet straps. That's not just coming from me. That'll come from every kayak outfitter around the country. Now, why is that? People tend to over tighten their kayaks when they're using ratchet straps. They're afraid that something's gonna shift somewhere. With kayaks, it's just not necessary. The sun has an impact on the kayaks with the material that they're made of. If you go clamping them down too hard and the sun heats that up, then you can actually damage your kayak. And I've had kayak outfitters actually say in videos that they've done, that people have actually burst their kayaks, they crank them down. All you need is the simple straps that's got the little clasp because it'll pull tighter as tension comes to get it. You strap it up like I did, you pull it tight, and the kayak won't go anywhere. Now a lot of the times if you buy straps like these from places like Walmart, 
they've got these little hooks on them. And I don't really care for this style of hook because if it were to come loose in any way, shape, or form, it could still pop off of the tie down point. So what I do is I just cut these off. I'll just tie a loop on the end and then run the clamp back through it. And now I have a no point of failure. I feed this in, it only gets tighter under pressure. But that's really all you need is hand tight. Now, if you want something a little more professional this and you don't have any straps and you need to get some, I'll drop a link down in the description below, just some Amazon straps that do exactly. But for the purpose of what I do and me using what I already have, these work just fine. Now, check your local and state regulations in case you're required to have an orange flag hanging off the back. A lot of the times, if it's something hanging out more than three feet, you need to put an orange flag on. I live in Indiana, we don't have that requirement. Now, when I get back home, unloading is just as easy. I unfasten the front one and leave it on there, so it's there the next time I need to hook it back up. I'll unhook this one and just toss it in the seat. Again, it's still on the handle. I know right where it is. Now, since I have this cart, I will leave the strap on it so that if I do go somewhere, I can easily put it back over the kayak, cinch it down, and the cart will be sitting right there so I can wheel it wherever I need to go. When I get back home and I want to unload it from the truck, I've got a little method that I do with this so I can keep it from sliding forward and gets too far forward and I can't unload it onto the cart. Now, if I wanted to, I could pull the kayak all the way out set the cart over to the side, pick the nose up, and put it on the cart and do it that way. But this is just a little easier way that I like to do it. So from here, I'll take this strap and put it over the top of my propeller, and then I'll start pulling the kayak out and set it down on the front of this, and then it'll automatically start sliding forward. Normally, that's where it gets away from me and goes up to the front of the kayak. But with this strap, it won't do that. So from there, the cart can only slide so far forward, and then I'll be able to roll it back into the garage. And it's just that easy to load, strap down, or unload the kayak. Put it on, take it off, just like that. If you have any questions, just drop them down in the comments section below. If you like content like this, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. It helps YouTube promote videos like this to other people who might be looking for it. Until next time, get outside when you can and make some memories. One cast at a time.